Yeah.
Me with Tavian, Tavian, did I say it right? Okay, Tavian, um, you just walked out of it with that win, man. You have, you're so much taller than a lot of these guys here. And what's in, what amazes me is, and the hardest thing for majority of people is using their full reach. You were able to use your reach like I have never seen anybody else do in the amateurs. So uh, tell me a little bit about yourself, where are you from, uh, what gym you go to? Um, so. I was born in Arizona. I've been in Colorado though for about nine years. Um, I'm from the Corner Boxing Club out in Boulder. Um, and just, you know, the first thing my coach saw on me was that I was tall. And I'm also a southpaw, so it's difficult for other people to kind of deal with my style. So the only thing we really work on is me using my reach, using my jab or my left hand. Um, you know, there's a couple hooks in there. But pretty much uppercuts are like off the limits, um, yeah, you know. And one, one of the nice things too is you are using some beautiful angles. I think it was in uh, round two, you caught him with an amazing angle and you ate him with that, that straight left, yeah. you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean, when you're practicing stuff, like what, what goes through your head when you're in a fight? You know what I mean? You have to think about it or is it just now where it's just instinct, it just happens? Um, you know, you definitely have to train in the gym to do that. Um, just sort of that drilling that into your head so that you know, when you are on, in that like fight or flight mode, you know, you're automatically drawn to doing what you've been doing all this time. And then what you don't pick up on is what your corner's for, you know? And I have an amazing coach and an amazing bunch of teammates, and they're there with me and they're helping me get through this because I can't do that all on my own. You know, they gotta be there with me. It's funny because um, I, I think I've talked to one of your other boxers too. I even told Carrie that I think it's funny that when you're, uh, one of you guys is, is in the in the ring and is fighting and your coach screams something and you guys don't hear it, your whole team will scream it and then you guys do it. So I love that you guys have that, that unique team setting where it's like, you guys know what's up. Listen to the coach or you're gonna lose a fight. Yeah, before you jump into a fight though, do you have a routine, like uh, a certain song you like to listen to or what, how do you get into the, the, the moment of, okay, I'm gonna fight? Um, you, there's definitely that music, that music that'll get you in the mindset of going in and being the one who won't back down, you know, um, it's different for everyone, um, but there is that music and, you know, we got our teammates, like, uh, my teammates, you know, they'll be the nicest people in the gym and then, like, when you're getting ready for your fight, you know, they're swearing at you, they're like, you're gonna go in and you're gonna do this, and that really sticks with you when you get in there. It's not how, yeah. how long you been boxing? Uh, since July. Since July. So how many how many fights? Uh, that was my fourth. That was your fourth fight. Yeah. So, is do you feel like it's getting a little bit easier, or do you feel like okay now it's getting to a point where I have to learn a lot more and I have to keep my game up even more? Um, certainly. So, I mean, when you have like four bouts, you know, you're getting in with other people who have a similar amount of bouts, and you know the skill level is really similar, and um, you know that definitely plays a part in, you know, what you're doing going in there. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Who, who's someone that motivated you to do boxing or, or who motivates you to do boxing? Um, my parents both did boxing in college, so I've always had like a pair of boxing gloves sitting in the closet that I can always do stuff with, but I had never really done it seriously. Um, you know, and it's just one of those things where it's like, um, you know, I've done basketball, I've done soccer, I've done football, and, you know, it just doesn't have the, the edge that boxing has. You know, boxing is very unique in the way um, you have to prepare and how you go in. Um, so could, you, could you say that you, you said you did football, you've done uh, basketball, and what other sport? Soccer. And soccer. So being through those three sports, compared to boxing, how do the workouts compare? I've never sweat more in my life than doing a boxing workout, you know? It's it's really unique how how amazing that something like three rounds can do your body. Um, you know, and like teamwork, like as much as boxing is considered like a solo sport, because there's only one person from each team in the ring at a time, it's, you know, it really comes down to your team. It's one of, you know, it's taught me more about teamwork than anything. And then, um, when was the point where you're like, you know what, this is a sport I want to do. Why, why did you stick with boxing? Um, I think it was after my first fight. Yeah. Uh, you know, I lost um, 
and it was one of those things where it was like I lost in the day after. I mean, sure, it sucked to lose, but I was like, looking back on it, I was like, that was some of the most fun I've had in so long. And like, even though I lost, it was still an amazing feeling. You know, you get all that adrenaline going. It feels good. And so I stuck with it. And I loved it ever since. And when you jump in there, do you, does it all kind of fade? Did you, are you able to hear your coach or? Yeah. yeah I mean, what, like, how is it when you jump in the beat? Right, well, if you know Carrie, you know she's very loud. <laughs> that certainly helps. Yeah. You know. There you go. That, well, it's not easy fighting in front of a crowd. That was your fourth fight. You walked out of it with the win. So congratulations on that. Are you going to go to Golden Gloves? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, definitely. There you go. I'm hoping to see you guys fight at Golden Gloves. Yeah, well, we'll be looking forward to seeing you as well. Congratulations on your win today. Thank you.
How are you feeling, dude? I'm feeling um, great. <laughs> that was a tough fight, man. Though you guys are, were both very skilled, skilled fighter. What do you think kind of gave you a little edge on that win? Um, I just been training really hard yeah? in the gym and um, just had the confidence to do it. There you go. So tell me about yourself. Tell me how old are you? I'm 12. 12. What boxing gym you at? Rick City Boxing. You, go. you guys just opened a new location not too long ago, huh? Yeah. How's the new place treating you? It's, um, it's pretty nice. There you go. Yep. And how long have you been boxing? Um, about five years. Five years. How many bouts? Like 60. 60? About. There you yeah. go. That's not easy. Yeah. yeah. How do you, how'd you feel about today's fight? Um, I think it was good. Yeah? Yeah, I think I um, really uh, outperformed myself. There you go. And who's your coach? Coach Mingo and my dad. There you go. So, who's someone that you look up to in the in the boxing world? Like professionals. Yeah. Um, like Mike Tyson, because he's small just like me, and like he could be everybody. He's just really good. You're very skilled. You have great footwork, and it shows that you have 60 fights. You know what I mean? Going in there and performing. When you fight in front of a crowd, are you? Do you does it kind of just fade? Do you just ignore it, or is it something you just? get used to I just like I just ignore it like when I get in the zone I can't hear nobody and I just do me in the ring. before a fight do you what do you do before a fight is there a song that you listen to that kind of motivates you or pumps you up yeah when I um, get my hand wrapped my hands wrapped I just listen to my favorite songs like juice world you know them and I just like get pumped up by it you what you want to see me a song no <laughs> Um, What's your favorite song by him? Um, probably Robbery. Yeah. Yeah. What's uh? Everyone hates working out, but what's your favorite workout? Um, I like to um. What's it called? Let me see. Mm, I like doing sit-ups and like leg workouts because I could just like I could go on for a long time. I got strong legs. <laughs> well, you guys, you guys put on one heck of a show. Everyone was on the edge of their seat. Everyone was screaming. And you guys, you and your opponent, you guys have a great future boxing ahead of you. You know what I mean? So, do you plan on going to Golden Gloves? Yeah, I'll be there. There you go. And do you still feel like you need to prepare more, or do you think, nah, you know, I'm ready? Um, we'll just keep doing what we're doing, and we'll get it. Get the dub. Well, congratulations on your win today, dude. Phenomenal fight, one heck of a show, and everyone was excited. I was excited to see you guys fight. That was a good, good matchup. Thank you. Congratulations.
Let's move this right here. No, put it in frame. Show that trophy off. There you go. Okay. Fernando, tell me about that fight, man. How'd you feel? I feel good. Yeah? Uh, I fought him last time I fought, so. That was a rematch, right? That uh, was a rematch. I just, you know, I, I went in there to expected somebody else. And like I said, I went back to the gym and put in that work Monday through Friday. Don't matter. No excuses. As long as you do your work, you're going to achieve what you want. You and I came in thinking with that mindset. Might be the same guy, but if he does the same thing, don't expect the same fight. Yeah. He can always be better. No matter who it is. I like that. Have that mentality. Win or lose, keep going, man. That's all I know. There you go. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? I'm I, I'm actually from Mexico. Oh, yeah, so Chihuahua. Ah, there you yeah, go. So I moved out here when I was four, so now started boxing like seven months ago. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, how many fights do you have now? A three. That's your third fight. This is my third fight. Now, how do you feel, man? You know what I mean? The one of the hardest scenes is coming out 
and performing in front of a crowd. It's one thing, to, the sparrings, it's one thing to be practicing in the gym, but then it's another when you step on the, in that ring in front of a bunch of people. What goes through your head? All right, well, before I get in the ring, I'm like, there's a lot of people. Once I'm in that ring, I see the ref, I see the fighter, everything else is blocked. I'm there to fight. I'm not there to impress anybody. I'm there to make sure I win, put in my work, do everything I can to win. Win or lose, like I said, I'm at the gym every day, do everything I can to win, so. And that's what I came here to do. The last time I saw you guys fight, it was at the House of Pain. And that match, you guys went all three rounds and you almost finished your opponent, but you quite, you quite couldn't do it in that fight. The second time now, you guys came in, you were able to stop your opponent in the second round. What do you think was the difference? Well, actually, I got a third round TKO. Oh, there you by go. By the same point, by third round. And I talked to my coach and was like, you could do the first round. <laughs> so I came in here with that mentality. I was like, I need to put him away by the first round. And couldn't, but the second round was, was a charm. I, that body, man, I think that body's key. I love boxing. I, the body is where I like to hit. So. <laughs> I caught him a couple good times. You can see the way he reacts. But like I said, it's all about power. It's about technique, where you punch, how you punch, everything. What's your, what's your gym's name? Top Notch. There you go. Who's your coach? Coach AJ Vasquez and Jeremiah Vasquez are my, my coaches. So shout out to them. <laughs> Doing a great job. So with this being, what, your third fight you said? With this being your third fight, okay? It wasn't very long ago that you had your first fight. What was your mindset or what, what were you thinking when your coach was like, hey, you know what, it's time to fight? Okay, well my first fight was at 160. Okay. And this fight's at 152. Uh, my first fight was tough. Tough opponent. Uh, you interview, his name was Lasha, he was 30 years old. Russian guy. You know, I expect, I'm 21, he's a full grown man. And I went in there with that same mentality though. When I lose, I'm gonna give him my all. Win all three rounds, he beat my by split decision. You know, it is what it is, but that's when I learned, I was like, this is, this is a tough sport. Yeah. Either after that fight, either you make it, or it makes you keep going or you quit. You I decided go. to keep going. Yeah. And maybe one day I'll get to see him again. Maybe Are you uh, planning on going to Golden Gloves? Uh, I am. Uh, I'm actually gonna do, my coach AJ wants me to go open, so. There you go. I'm going hey. for it all. That's see how you get experience. Yeah, I'm in it to win or, that's why I'm not gonna do no, I think it's called novice, is that what it is? Yeah. It's not, I'm 21 years old, man. I gotta, I gotta go. Yeah, why not see where you're at? Yeah, yeah exactly, so. That's awesome. That's what I plan well, to do. Well, congratulations on your win today. You did an awesome, you did an awesome job. You came out with the win, and um, well, I'll be seeing you in Golden Gloves. Oh, yeah, you will. Awesome, congratulations, man. Thank you.
Danny McCord, right? Yes, sir. Awesome. You just walked out with the win. How did you feel about your fight today? Feeling really good, man. Feeling really good. How long have you been boxing? Uh, competitively, like two years. Two years. Yeah. How many fights? Uh, this is my seventh. Seventh fight? Yes. Yeah, how did you feel about it? I felt that was my best one, man. I mean, it was a battle, but yeah. I feel good. Yeah, they came all the way from Iowa. Uh, so know. you know they were trying to go home with that win for sure. Hell yeah. How would you get into boxing? Oh, uh, that's actually, I, I didn't really have something that like, something that really made me go towards it. I just decided I'd try it one time. I, I was getting sick of hockey, so I decided I'd try it and I fell in love. And, yeah. Hockey, that's, you're the first person I've ever heard say they went from hockey to boxing. Yeah. You know, what made you want to choose boxing? I, I mean, I had a friend who had, uh, who was older than me and he had tried it and he told me he loved it. And I didn't know what I wanted to try, so I figured I'll, I'll go to the gym with him, and and I just fell in love, man. That's cool. Hell yeah. Do you still play hockey? No. No, no boxing's it. No. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. So what was the biggest difference from, you know, I mean, workout-wise, from hockey to boxing? Oh, man, boxing's so much harder. <laughs> oh, my God, man. The conditioning is insane. But, yeah, man. Hey, going into a boxing match, you know what I mean? What's the hardest thing for you? You know what I mean? Mentally, is it just getting ready physically? Uh, it's definitely mental for me. Yeah. I always feel like I'm in pretty good shape, but yeah, sitting around before my fight, I get so nervous. <laughs> I get so nervous. So what, do you have a routine or like a, a ritual that you do that you know you get, kind of gets you in the mood to fight? Like, do you have a song or? Uh, I'm not, I don't have like a specific routine. No. I need one, because I get so nervous, but uh, yeah. And jumping into the ring, you have your coach screaming, everyone else is screaming. You know, what goes through your head? Are you able to hear your coach or? Oh uh, yeah, I can I can hear my coach, that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> I do my best to only listen to him. <laughs> well it sounds like, you know, I mean, you perform in front of a crowd, you have to be able to just zone in on that one voice. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. So what's the hardest uh, thing about boxing? Conditioning, man. Yeah. Conditioning for sure. Yeah. And nerves. <laughs> just nerves. If someone says, hey, you know what? I want to switch from hockey and go to boxing. What's some advice you can give them? Oh man, it, it's worth it, but it's gonna be fucking tough. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Uh, so where are you from? Uh, a little south of Denver is, is where I'm from, Highlands Ranch. But I'm going to school up at Western State right now, okay. so I'm fighting out of the Gunnison Club. Awesome. So yeah. Is it hard doing both of those at the same time? Uh yeah, I mean it's not too bad honestly, no. just like a regular student athlete, you know. There you go. But yeah, I'm loving it. Cool. Yeah. Well, congratulations on your win. Are you going to go with Golden Gloves? Uh, I probably won't be at Golden Gloves because the, the week after is actually the college tournament. So uh, I'll be doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, congratulations on your win. Thank you. Appreciate Hopefully it. Hopefully I see you more fights. Oh, I'm sure you will.
Connor, yes, sir. how'd you feel about your fight? I felt good, actually. Yeah? Yes, sir. Triple threat, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, I know every time I see you guys' name, you guys are bringing out some quality fighters. You know what I mean? Who, who, you want to shout out your uh, your gym and your uh, coach? I want to shout out uh, Coach Lev. He's one of the Army coaches. He, he means a lot to me. He's a great coach. I would really recommend him if you ever go down in Colorado Springs and, and go to Triple Threat. He'll always be there and help you out. Awesome. How long have you been boxing? I've been boxing for five years. Five years? How yes. many fights? I have over 30. How many? Over 30. Over 30? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, that's accomplished right there by itself. That's not easy to do. I'm also ranked number five in the nation. Number five? Yes, sir. That's 101. Impressive. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. How did you feel about your fight? I felt really good. I, in the first round, I knew I lost in the first round. But in the second round, I knew I had to come back. But in the third one, I, I felt like I won it. Yeah, no, you look sharp. Your footwork was impressive. Your head work was awesome. Um, you're going against someone that I know has a lot, a lot of experience in this sport. You know what I mean, you're not good. You didn't go against someone that was just gonna roll over and give you the win. So you definitely went out there. You performed. Uh, what, what was part of your training that you know what I mean helped you win this fight? Um, I would say my um, cardio. Cardio. A lot of cardio. Yeah. <laughs> but this is, what's the hardest workout you think? Um, running. Running. <laughs> I think the hardest one is running. <laughs> It's always one of the hardest. Yeah. There you go. And um, you, with that being your 30th fight, is it getting easier dealing with the crowd, or do you feel like it's still hard to deal with this sometimes? Um, I kind of just black out. I don't really see the crowd. I kind of just hear my coaches in the back in the background, and that's really it. There you go. And then, who's someone that motivated you to get into boxing? Um, Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford. He also he, trains at our gym sometimes. There you go. He's one of my favorites. He's one of my favorite boxers. I love that guy. His footwork is was um, one of the most impressive footwork I could I could think of. And seeing how you were able to work, that makes sense now. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, what's something that you can take from your training camp and that you put into this fight? Um, just all the, all the hard work I put in the gym, put it in here. Train hard in the train hard in the in the gym. Eat, make it easy in the ring. And then um, how'd you get into boxing? Um, my dad, I was in, I've been doing karate since I was two, okay. and I, I was like combat sports at the time. And then my dad was trying to put me in wrestling out for a long time, and I was like, nah, when I hurt people, I'm gonna go boxing. <laughs> so I got in boxing. There you go. Well, do you plan on going to uh, the Golden Gloves? Yes, sir. Awesome. Well, congratulations on you win today, man. You went against someone that I know wasn't gonna give it very up, wasn't gonna give it up very easily. So that was a good, phenomenal fight. Everybody was screaming and cheering for you guys. So congratulations. Thank you.